Oh, no way. Well, I know what I'll have. Just sign that. <laughs> 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 Today I'm going to be meeting a group that's helping promote a very important message, looking to boost their own mental health and other people around them. We've had a letter from Tony asking us to support a very good cause. And with the help of Nivea Men, that's exactly what we're going to do. Dear Liverpool FC, I'm looking for some help in spreading a message that it's okay to talk. About early March, I started the war, but it was through two factors really, suffering COVID, being hospitalised myself, trying to get back to health. A friend had, had his own issues, personal issues. I put the two together, mental health, my own health, and I thought, there must be other fellas who might want to get out. It's good to walk, but it's even better to talk. It's become like my little baby in a way, sort of thing. I'm proud of it and the way it's going and where it's headed. Like, and loads of people are asking, is the walk on, is the walk on? We'll be there. And if fellas have got like the more difficult conversations, we've tried to form links with like people who are more professionally involved in that type of thing and help them. It costs nothing to help people, does it? It costs nothing to get out walking. It's a great thing, really. By the way, with what's going on with the walk and how far it's come the last few weeks, I took it upon myself to write to the club to see if they could help us in any way about the wellbeing walk. So they wrote back to me, and what they've done, lads, is say, we're going to go to the training grounds, and lad, you can probably have a look around. I don't know the full list, but just something nice after the walk that they've offered to do. Oh, the kids here is right. I feel like one of them kids here. <laughs> Yes, lads. All right. Thought I'd join you on the walk. Is that right. okay Not today? Enough, you yeah. all right? Nice to meet you. Most important thing, I've been told there's at least one Evertonian here. Who is it? Yeah, you, time. is it? Big two? Time. Is there yeah. two? Well, I hope you're all right with me. That's, uh, yeah, no, tag along by all means. Might not be as scenic as what you're used to, though. Yeah, so yeah. We can have a wonder. We can have a wonder. It's like that. The Blues must be happy this weekend then. Say it's the first time you've seen you smile. He's only 23. <laughs> He's only 23. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you start this or how it did you start it? Personally, it was a health thing really. And then a friend of mine had all his own problems. And so I, I, I involved him in it to get his head together. So it was more a mental thing with him and the health thing with me. I thought I can put the two together, there must be other fellas in the same situation as us. I put it out on, on, the, on social media with some good things can come through social media. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, some other, yeah, some, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's only been running that not long. The ninth week, yeah. Yeah. I'm bumping into you. And then bumping into you, that's not bad, <laughs> is it? <laughs> How does it feel for you when you get double figures every week? It must be, it must be satisfying yeah, for you. It is, yeah, it's that warm and like. Yeah. But um, I think the first time, of, of, a fella come yesterday, we could come through Twitter, didn't know him. And he had his own story about his son. And he, when I was talking to him about it, he, at the end he went to the lads and I felt him. So that's just one. That one fella and that one story was worth it for me on the first yeah. week, do you know what I mean? What are the group of lads like? Obviously you've got, you know, a couple of Evertonians in there. <laughs> yeah. the, you know, the yeah. banter and things, think, that must be good yeah, between you. It works wonders for them, every Monday. Yeah. 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 If every Monday morning at half ten, People are, like there's a group around the country of men who were walking and I'm getting out and starting the week in a good fit. And that come from our walk, yeah. which started in Liverpool. Yeah. That would be, be great for me. Special, it? Yeah, not yeah. half. And you like, put, put your pictures up on social media of the lads yeah. and your walk. And then you can get talking between each other yeah. then. No, that'd be special, yeah. Yeah, that's well, right. Hopefully we can help you with that. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. I stayed in him. Mary Hill. Mary Hill. My dad's from Mary Hill. Is he, yeah? Oh, Maybe my grand and grand. I've got two English kids now, so. Oh, well, Scousers, maybe, yeah. I'll, I'll hold on to Scousers, yeah. Anytime they come away with English ones, so I send them up to Glasgow for a week, yeah. So, Tess, why did you start coming on these walks? To Tony on Twitter, and he'd explained a little bit what it was about. I've struggled for many years out with mental health. One of the things I've always been told is, 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 is to get out. I think even just meeting Tony for just a couple of couple of hours yeah. before we went to the walk, you kind of see how kind of open and honest yeah, it is, and it's just relaxed. Us as men, we need to we, we need to open up. You know, we're not cavemen anymore. If I look at even our like changing room and things like that, yeah. people have been through things and stuff course, like that. Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. all, you know, you obviously find the people that you're comfortable talking with. And yeah. 
and once you do that, you do get it's like a relief off your throat, and it like if something's yeah, yeah. eating you up, and we all get it. Sometimes you can't see it. More and more people should do this, you know, just getting out, talking, and I mean, just that little kick about there, it gets you going. The more we do it, and more things like this, the more it becomes normal. I think we are a wee bit more open as men, and you know, how long may it continue. I'm a taxi driver, so when you get people coming, it's, I love that they go, I'm, I'm first time I've been to Liverpool, I couldn't believe it was like this, you know, because they've heard stories, or they've yeah. read papers, you get stereotypical. And then they see that I've charged them twice over the odds and get a right job on. <laughs> it's been a pleasure meeting you all. I've loved it, and you are doing such a good thing. Never your men have a surprise for you. The Never your men's team, we absolutely love the message you're promoting the continued impact you're having on many people. But as we approach Father's Day, we know it can be a difficult time for some. That's why we are in touch with men around the country to set up more groups like your own. We will begin with walks on International Father's Mental Health Day. We will use our platform to raise awareness of the walks and encourage men to open up and help them start a conversation about their own mental health. Unbelievable, that. <laughs> Bob. If we can do it, there must be men around the country, never mind locally, that would also maybe just give like an hour or two up on a Monday morning, start the, the start of the week in a good frame of mind. And it all come from our walk, which started south of Liverpool. And that means a lot like what maybe you're in the Liverpool are doing for us there. This is some goodies for you as well. Oh, no way. Well, I know what I'll have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, thank you. Yeah, no thank problem. you. I have to sign that. <laughs> 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 yeah.